Good day people, welcome back to Desachi HD, welcome back to our Barcelona B career mode. Today we begin season 2 of our career mode, yes we finally finished season 1 after 24 episodes and got promoted to La Liga. So we're going to start this off with, a, I've done a little bit of work so far, I've just accepted a friendly invite and advanced one day. Um, the team at the minute kind of looks like this, need a new goalkeeper because we have only Zidane. Still got Hakimi and Palencia, Bello and Bueno, and also well, a tons of young Spanish centre backs. Cucurella and Conchao at left back. And the midfield looks pretty solid at the minute as well. And Musonda still in on loan. Looks good. And obviously, the designer up front. Um, now, we haven't got a lot of money so far. We've only got 5 million. I'm not sure why that is. I think we should have a, a little bit more coming, but. That's it so far, and I've shortlisted a couple players. Chav Detze, I think he was there from last year. Brahim Diaz, Matthias De Ligt, who will purchase obviously if we get more money in. Alenia, who a lot of people have asked me to bring back, so if I can, I will. And Mike Svila as well, same rating as Zidane, but he has a much better potential. Right, training. Let's get this underway. Let's get. Alexander Isaac on it, work on his, yeah, heck, let's work on his finishing, he is still only 18, which is awesome, Keen, we'll get you on it as well, got so many players to try and train, Charpentier, and work on your crossing, it's only 64, um, and Gomez, just because you have such high potential, it leaves only one slot, Jesus. Um, we'll go for just for now, we'll go with Busquets just to get that higher rated midfielder in. Probably no one's going to progress yet. No, nope, not even one stat increase, but that's we're going to start off training. And we have Benevento in the first friendly, and I think they are in the City F now. I'm pretty sure they've been doing awful, but they got their first ever point against AC Milan after their goalkeeper scored a header in the last last couple of minutes of the game in extra time, I think. So that's pretty awesome for them. Right, Aguero wants to play, and so does Arnaz, both left-sided players. Well, that's not awkward at all, is it? Let's get Aguero on the left. Let's get Arnaz up top, and we'll just run with that for the, for this friendly. This is going to hopefully be quite a lengthy episode, guys. Um, we won't get to play a game. I'm not going to bother playing these friendlies. I'm just going to sim them. Only really accepted the invite because potentially we could make a little bit of extra money here. So that's pretty much all that we're doing. And first game, two will draw. Private and Ruiz getting our goals. So that's not too bad. I mean, against a team which isn't shouldn't as exactly be much competition but still right Isaac wants to play more yep that's gonna happen a lot more buddy hopefully you you you'll grow quite a bit as well when overtake Lozano if any bids do come in for Lozano I will accept them obviously he is a highest rate striker at the minute but he is in his mid-20s and fast approaching him we have got a couple guys uh, more we will let go because we already have plenty yet and Hakimi on the right back so he's not needed there's any anyone that you want me to get, guys, just drop it in the comments, and I will have a look at them. Although I think the main one at the minute is just Arnias. I mean, not Arnias, Elena. So we'll work on doing that. Let's just rotate the team for this game. Let's get Isaac up front. Gomez, Charpentier, Fede. Oh, Miguel, that'll do. There we go, we'll run with that team for this game. And of course it'll be another sim. Who are we playing? Tenerife. They are... Serie B? Serie A? No, uh, La Liga. Well, La Liga 2. Um, I'm not actually too sure, but a 1-0 defeat. To, to be fair, slightly second team from us, so... It's not too much of a concern. Let's get the tr players training again. Hopefully someone will actually go up this time. Okay, nope, not yet. That's fine. 
I'm sure will happen. Eventually, please, I hope. And spal, spal in the next one. Have we got any money yet? Hold on, offer for Bueno. Nope, he is not for sale, I'm afraid. Let's be our starting centre back, so he's going nowhere. Only five mil. I'm sure because we did the uh, the transfer overtake, which over owner whatever in the first season. I'm pretty sure that you you get an investment every year, so it's a bit odd why we don't have any money. But heck, with the money that we do have, I am going to go in for Mike. Mike Svila, because we just desperately need another goalkeeper. He hasn't just joined. What are you talking about? Uh. Right. We're going to hold off on purchasing anyone then. Might just have to be the team that we go into this season with. Which is not good. And of course, there's a cat jumping around on furniture. Go away. Hey, 2 0 win. Against Spau. I'm really not even sure what division they're in. Or what country. Italy maybe. Oh, I don't I don't know. And Udinese in the next round of the European International Cup. This is certainly gonna be a loss, but you never know. Come on, let's get to the office. And one million prize money and who's Emma Miguel is out for two months, the young the young C D M. Oh man. Okay. Never mind. Let's get Bueno back in the side. Let's go have Palencia. Uh, Clive uh, Keen. Musonda. Drop the squirts down into CDM. Let's get Vitinho back into the side. And let's get Montoya in as well. That is a little bit tired, so we'll go with Bielik see how this team fares against the decent city side. It's going to be at least 3-0, 4-0 to Eden these is an S, isn't it? I mean, they're smashing Middlesbrough. They lost to Union Berlin, but 2-1. That's not too bad. We went 2-0 down, brought one back. That's not such a bad result, to be fair, against a team like that. So, we'll take it. Training. And again, no overall progression, progressions, progression? There we go. But a couple of stats going up. Look at that La Liga table. But FC Barcelona, FC Barcelona B. We are going to have some big games. A little bit more prize money. And Danny Moore has been sold. And we've got the money coming for him. Good stuff. Oh, we're going to get ahead of a pound in this season. Still waiting for... For some money though, we can't do much until we get that. Oh, do you know what? I didn't think to. Oh, there we go. We've got 8 mil, that's not too bad. Didn't think to look at the free agents list because there's going to be some sweet regens coming, hopefully. Uh, let's just. Come on, 16 to 19. No, not nationality. Come on. Free agents. Oh, God. Yeah. He doesn't look too bad. No. Though some of these do look god awful. Mm, only if you work on your finishing, you might be okay. They always seem to have the physical stats, but the technical stats are just appalling. Mm, let's look at this keeper. He could possibly be a, an Italian region, so. And that's it. There are options. It's not great. Let's just have a quick look at our squad, just so I can see an overall idea of the squad depth. We've got a lot of players. I'm going to have a look at loaning a couple of these guys out now. Start by lowest overall. Right, Fuentes is 49 rated. Sorry, but he's going to be released. And then we've got. Miranda, 52 rated. You're going to be released as well. Guerrero, we'll loan out. Panchao, you might be needed. Ojeda, let's loan you out. Miguel, obviously injured at the minute. Maxi Mendes did look like he'd be a very, very promising player, but he's not going to get a lot of play time. 
we'll keep them on the side for now. Hatado, Lone, and Twa, you can stay. Mon Maldonado, you can stay. Um, that might do for now. Cadonia's Kadon transfer listed. Anyaz, Akimi, Zano. 25 and 75 rated. I will let him go if the right offer comes in. Obviously, Musunda we've still got on loan. Right, I'm going to have a look at purchasing a couple of these free agents. I don't have an idea of the overalls yet. Let me advance a few more days, see if we... I want to get in a couple of players at least before the first game of the season, so I'm going to advance a little bit. Hopefully the scout can come back with an overall. At least, oh, an offer for Vitinho from Derby County of 11 mil. He, it's not for sale. Sorry, he is not going anyway. He's one of my favourite players. Don't plan on letting him go for any time soon. And if an, <laughs> the offer would be, have to be at least what 40 mil, I'd say 40 mil for a player like Vitinho. A loan offer for Mark Corella. Why would we loan him out? He's our first choice. Left back. He's got a, a jump of about 20 overall ratings above our next left back. Why would a loan, off, loan offer come in? If I went to try and loan anyone's first team left back, I'd straight up get a no. So, I don't know how that works. But Moist King's up, ratings gone up, which is always good. Let's have a look for a couple of players. Um, I wonder if... It'll, Odegaard, Martin Odegaard, Real Madrid, might be able to get a loan on, loan, loan him in, let's have a look at Hachim Mastor, he's not in the game, okay, let's go have a look at Barcelona, let's see if we can loan any players in, if we can get loans where we're not playing much wages then, you know, it's a win-win for us, Munir, I doubt it, but you never know, um, no one here really. Sergi Sampa, possibly, never know. Douglas is transfer listed. Don't really need a right back anyway. It's just short. Short list them, see if I can get a loan. Pretty crazy thinking, but you never know. Or Taylor. Heck, might be able to bring him in on loan once again. Let's have a look. Right, Munir. Oh wow, okay, we can actually, if we can loan in Munir, I would be absolutely amazed. It's gonna be a lot on the wages though. Heck, two years. Yeah? Whew, okay. Ouch. That is a big, big wage bill. But heck, he's gonna be a top quality player, so. Let's try to go 45. Come on. Come on. Sweet. Looks like we might be getting Munir in on loan, which would be awesome. And he is obviously a right winger slash striker slash left winger slash centre forward, so can play in a lot of positions. I'm going to look to get this guy, the goalkeeper, in. I know we don't have an idea of his rating yet, but we have one goalkeeper. So anyone really would be good to bring in. He wants rotation squad role, there's no point in even negotiating that because they will not... It, I've never been able to negotiate someone's... <sighs> really? You want... No! Why do you want a release clause of 3 million? There we go, that's fine, I'll, I'll play that easy. Sweet, so that's a goalkeeper in... And we'll leave it at that just for now. See if Munir actually accepts. If he does, I'll be chuffed. Loan offer rejected. I had a feeling it would be. Damn it. I mean, why would he want to come to a club like this? You know. Damn. That is actually a shame. Oh, what was that? Keepers rating? 67, he's actually better than Zidane, he's only 19 as well. Awesome, that's a... Awesome, happy, happy days. Right, so we couldn't get him in here. 
didn't want to come out on loan to us. It's a shame, but I didn't really expect anything else. So let's see if we can get Martin Odegaard in on loan. And it's tough being Barcelona B. One year loan. Okay. His wages, we'll pay 40%. 60 40. No, alright, 50 50. 60 40, come on. 55. Give us something, man. There we go. Thank you, Zidane. Thank you. I can't even go in for me again. Douglas, not really interested. Sergi Sampa, let's see if we can get this guy in on loan. He's going to let us negotiate, so time will tell. I'm not even going to bother trying two year loans anymore. So maybe that's the reason that um, the last guy didn't want to come to us, possibly. Jump straight in for that 45 55, bring it up to 50 50. Sweet. See if we can get Sergi Stampa in on loan as well. They, them two I would be very happy with. Chances are they're both going to say no, but you never know, right? If they both say yes, I'll be a very, very happy man. We won't have to spend any money. Loaned in. Loaned in. Sweet. So that's two new players. Let's go and check out their ratings. 77 and 74. Awesome. He can play right wing and cam. Very nice rating as well. Damn, he's only 19 still, and Sampa 74 rated. Two players who can pretty much going to go straight into the first team. So, we'll have Sabritza in goal. At the back, Bello and Bueno. Kikurela left back. Sampa will come in to midfield. Yep, keep the squats there. Have Routinho play off of him. Cliver. Musonda and Isaac. Pretty crazy, it's only going to leave space for Odegaard on the bench. Although, kind of think we've got two CDMs here and a Cam. Could always play Odegaard Cam. Change up this formation a little bit. I mean, I'm not really too sure. We will go with, let's have a look at the formations. 4-3-3 three, three attack. If we do that, we can drop these two back into CDM. Well, that might leave too much space in the midfield. I do want to play Odegaard, but I do not want to drop Vitinho either. Mm, I mean, it, maybe it's just good having that. Having that player on the bench, you can actually come on and make a difference, you know? But I think I'm going to go with this formation anyway. Uh, have Vitinho in that cam position. <coughs> Musonda, Cliver out wide. We are going to keep Cliver uh, just because we do have him on a permanent deal. I think he's better than Odegaard. I know the, the ratings are slightly different and Odegaard does look good, but he has not got the pace for a winger really and would much better suit the midfield position. But that looks like it will be our first team. I mean, Bueno may be one lower rated, but his tackling is better, so we'll keep with Bueno. Um, so Zidane will be our keeper on the bench. <coughs> Tarin and Hakimi. Odegaard. Keane. Gomez, Angle Gomez, and to make space for you. Oh, <laughs> Um, yeah, this is our oh, Benton Kerr as well. I mean, we're gonna need a lot of squad depth, decent players on the bench, so. Having Hakimi, Bentenko, Gomez, Odegaard and Keane on the bench isn't too bad at all, is it really? Got a decent looking midfield, a decent looking attack. We are definitely getting there and we've got a new keeper in. He's quite young and he's got, I hope, a decent potential. I'd expect him to. I reckon he's the regen of, of Buffon, possibly. 
I mean, he's the only goalkeeper that I can think who would have retired, so... <coughs> Oh, five messages. One player in the Youth Academy, Miguel. Can't be brought through yet. Anyway, and um, we have scout reports. So Peroni, 60 rated striker. And we've got a 66 rated centre back. Only 5'11. 19 and 18. It might be worth bringing them through. Two, a three. We'd have three Italians then in our team. Um, Possibly. I mean, we've got we've got quite a big squad depth now, but I guess if Cardona and Cardona and Lozano both go, that's two strikers. <coughs> Doesn't leave us with a rotation, so <coughs> I'm not going to go for the centre back. I am going to go for the striker. Or should I go for the centre back? He has 66 rated. That is better than some of the guys we already have. No, I need to adjust my wage budget. There we go. Now we do. So let's go for them both. He's 66 rated. I don't want to turn that down. <coughs> he could be quite decent in the future, so... Hey, let's do it. Squad roll, what do you want? Sporadic, please. Oh, we accepted it. Awesome. Five years. Three, I'll take it. Actually, you know what? Counter. Four. Four years, come on. Good man. No release. These guys in their flipping release clauses. No, sod off. Awesome, so that's Coda in on. Permanent deal, and we're going to go for Peroni as well. <coughs> Prospect, perfect. Five years, perfect. Someone is actually. <coughs> oh, no. Yeah. No, no, no release clause. 2.9k wage, perfect. <coughs> See? I'm happy with that. Happy with the prospect role and a five year deal. That's bang on. And let's get training these guys. Um, okay, this has gone up to 70, that's cool. But I would like to add in the keeper at some point. Maybe after a couple more training sessions, I will put him in place of someone. No idea who, but we'll get around to that. <coughs> and let's just go over the kit numbers. So, Sablitza, I guess, is going to take that number one. Coda. Oh, do you know what? I do not know. We'll leave it for now. <laughs> Clive, it's gone up to 77 by the looks of it. I think I just, just saw his rating in the team selection, so that's good. Been a lot of progress. Just need to wait for those bids to come in. Anthony Lozano, 8.8 .8 million. Yes, please. It's above his value, and I'll be very, very happy with that. So, hopefully, he actually ends up going. He will be missed. He, was, he did very, very well last season, but going forward, he's just not going to be able to retain that. He's not going to be able to retain a place in the starting 11, so you might as well get him out now, get decent money for him. Soon enough, Isaac will be taking his place, and look at that, he's gone up to 73 now already, the same as Busquets, just jumped up to that 73 rating, happy days. <coughs> now we just got to wait for Cardonia to be sold, so if an offer could come in for him, that would be spot on, please, loan offer for Kikarella, Sukenna. Do you know what, I'm actually going to accept that, we have so many centre-backs now, it will actually probably benefit him going out on loan. Chances are he's not going to get a lot of game time, so he can go, that's fine. We already have Amu, Bielik, and our new centre-back uh, to rotate with, so. And that's Lozano gone. <coughs> yep, and he's been loaned out. And an offer for Palencia, who is not for sale. No, Real Madrid, you are not having him. Awesome. 
And let's run over this training again. Um, I'm just going to take out the squats for now. Just for now, just to get into Blitzer. Spritzer, I think I'm saying that right. Just get him in on the training for a little while. <coughs> and Keen's gone up. Sweet. Almost 70 rated. 69 at the minute. Lol, 69. What? No, I didn't say that. Onwards. Must be fast approaching the first game of the season. I wonder who it's going to be. Hopefully it's not too much of a of a big dog. Because I would like to get some points on the board. An offer for Bueno. He is not for sale. Definitely not. Sorry, Amira. Bueno is not going anywhere. I know who I want to keep and I know who I don't. So if the others could just come in for the guys who are actually transfer listed, that would be fantastic. And conference coming up, that means we have got a game approaching soon. Barca B saying great work, thank you. It's all in a day's work. The Squirt, CSKI, no, he's not for sale. Offer for Cucurella of how much? 7.2 million, damn that's a good offer, but he is again not for sale. And what have we already done? Increase season ticket holders, awesome. What else do they want us to do? Finish mid-table, that's quite a big request for our first season. Reduce player wages, apparently I've done that. And bring in, yeah going to be an easy one as well. Just bring in some youth academy products, but we've done lots of that. <coughs> Training, come on, Sabritza. If you could go up, please. Nope, a couple of stats rising. Shot power, Isaac, stamina for Gomez, which is good. That man can't last a solid 45 minutes without coming off. So that's very, very much needed. Who's our first game? Oh, Valencia. What? Come on, our first game of the season in La Liga. Our first season in the top division. And our very first game come up against Valencia. And what's that? Release clause played for Tyreen. I didn't realise he had one, but he's going. That's a shame. But it's not going to get that much playtime anyway. And I'm not going to say no to the extra money. So that's alright. How much are we on now? 10? 13 mil. Let's have another look in our transfer hub, see if there's anyone that we might like. We can finally purchase Mike's Vila, which I'm going to do. <coughs> might do a player swap, see if they'll accept <laughs> Zidane. Chances are they won't, but you never know. Will you take Luka Zidane? Nope, they want to bring in a striker. Do you know what? This might be a prime opportunity. For me to get rid of oh, Colonia is well above his value, we really shouldn't, but I really don't want him in the side. We've got Isaac, we've got Keane, and we've got Peroni. Take Colonia. We'll probably benefit on the wage bill anyway, so let's get this man in. It's three young keepers now, two of them with decent potential, and then Zidane's son, just because. Do you know what? If he's happy with sporadic, that's awesome. Will you take a five year deal? Probably not. Okay, sweet. And no release clause. Finally. Finally someone who's happy without having a release clause. There you go. 2k wage. I'll give you a, a 95k sign and bonus. How about that? Yeah. That's a fair offer. My client is happy with that. Thank you, Svilar's agent. That's another new boy. New boy in at the club. I know we want Alenia. Yeah, it's just not going to be possible. We can't get him in on loan, we just need more money. And he's gone out to Nice, you'll go to Nice on loan, but he won't go to Barca B, thanks mate. We need more money to try and purchase Alinea. I don't think 13 mil will be able to enough to, to persuade him over. If we're not, heck, we can try. If we can do a player swap and give him, and give him the 13 mil, let's give it a go. Let's try and get Alinea back at Barcelona B. Not too, de too desperately needed now. We've got Sergi Sampa in on loan, so he could wait till January. But hey, if we can get him in, I'm not going to complain. Um, anyone that we can give them. Jose Arni has his surplus to requirements. They want a centre back. Bello stays, Bueno stays, Tarin is already negotiating to leave. Amu can probably go. Probably not going to win in though, are they? 
don't think so. Let's see if I can offer Tarine. They'll take Tarine plus 13.25 mil. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that down just a tad. We take 11. And you can have a sell on clause. <coughs> Please. Right. So I've managed to negotiate a transfer fee for Carlos Elena. Now we just need to get the, the wages done. Hopefully he doesn't want a massive sign-in fee because that's where we're going to struggle. Important. Happy with that. Four-year contract. Heck, might as well make it five. You know what? 50 million release clause and I'll be happy. Alright, nah. No, I don't like that release clause. Too low. I've already let him go once for the release clause, so I don't want to do it again. I want 37.5k, 490k signing weight. Yeah, if I can do it, I can do it. And I can. Elena is back at Barcelona B. You guys wanted it and we made it happen. Welcome, Elena. Oh, those stats. What a man. I'm so glad that he is back. And obviously, we've got Sevilla as well. <coughs> Um, the only way you can go straight into the first team is by dropping either Sampa or Busquets. Hmm, he's a very high attack and work rate player. These are both very defensive. Obviously Busquets. I think, oh, I mean, yeah, we'll keep in Busquets, we'll drop Sampa onto the bench. There we go, Alenia is back at Barcelona B. This lineup is just getting better and better. Um, we've got Benson Kerr as well. You can't even get on to the bench. Although we could probably make a little bit of money off him. Um, I'm just going to organise this just to get an idea of the players we've actually got. Mendes, Amu, Bialik, Hansiao. Defensive mids, we have a lot. <laughs> Centre mids, we have two. Right mid, left mids, cams. So, the, the first team, the bench, and then we have two centre backs, right back and left back on the reserve. Four CDMs, Ruiz, you can probably go, mate. Uh, Benton, uh, two central midfielders, three wingers, I'm gonna let Arnias and Ruiz go. I'm gonna plop them on the transfer list, see if we get any offers. And that's now they're already on the transfer list, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Um, Ruiz, goodbye, buddy. And Anya's goodbye buddy. Sorry, but you're just not going to be needed at the club. And our first game of the season is going to be Valencia. As we already know, that's the team that's going to go into the first game. I'm going to draw this episode to a close. It has been over 30 minutes, so hopefully you guys have carried on watching. Um, if you have, you know, thank you so much. Remember to like, subscribe and comment of what you want to see, or if there's anyone you want me to see by with my remaining but budget um next episode will be up asap guys but this is season two i hope you enjoy i think kazoo canon is actually hd bye